Hey, welcome to Horsley Retirement Adventures. Today I'm out at Crooked River, going out uh, pretty far actually. We're by a Crab Orchard and, and past that even, even further. Sorry, I saw something floating. Anyway, uh, appreciate everybody turning in, tuning in. It's been a long time, but I got a brand new GoPro now. And uh, I tried doing it on my phone, but I just, I'm not that smart. So, uh, yeah, it's been a long time since I did a video. So hopefully I catch some fish. And if you're watching this, that means I did catch some fish. And uh, I didn't do any filming or any uh, taping when I went out with Chris. I tried, but it didn't work. So watch Nichols Retirement Empire and watch us catch some fish at the Altamahala, Altamahal, Altamahal River Sound out there by Darien. Go uh, go check out his channel, watch that. That's pretty interesting. Uh, place we fished have never fished there before but it's a great meeting spot all right more to come fall out okay got my first fish of the day don't know what it is i do now a little trout oh no it's a blue blue fish exactly what i don't want stinky stinky blue fish Nice. Hopefully it doesn't go in these traps here. Get away from there. Just trying to get to the crab trap. These fish are smart. Okay. I don't know what it is. Hopefully it's not a big blue fish. Head shaker. Nice trout. Still shaking his head. There he is. It's a big trout. I don't know how big he is. Okay, I'll check and see how big he is. Just hold on. 17 inch. Good play size. All right. All right, got me another fish. I was turtle watching, and then uh, my bobber went under. Oh no. Ugh. It's a blue fish. No, catfish. That's even worse. Okay. I right, picked up another fish. Fish locations. Found some more fishes. Looks like another trout. And it is another trout. It's all right. I don't know if he's gonna be 14 though, but we'll see. Here, buddy. There we go. Nice trout. Yep. It's big enough to go on my live well. He's big enough to bite. Get on my hook. Big enough to eat. All right, I'm in a totally different area now. Same river, just a different spot. I'm fishing this mouth here, and then there's some shells over here. Seen a lot of activity. Fishing live shrimp again. And there's some activity in front. I mean, the ocean basically is right, right over there, right on the other side of the island. This is Cumberland Island. So, uh, Water's pretty salty. Hopefully I don't run into any of those catfish again. Because, uh, I mean, we're pretty salty right now. Throwing it up against this bank. Right over there. 
a little bit of an eddy current out there so i'm kind of just letting it float i lost one earlier when i was throwing my jig because i wasn't paying attention couldn't find my float and uh I guess a fish must have had it because it was underwater. And that's what Chris tells me. If the, if the float goes down, it means you got a fish on it. So I really got to, I got to watch this float. And, uh, you know, I want to take his advice. When the float goes down, that means there's a fish. Not because, you know, that's, I mean, I got, I, that's the purpose of a float. That's what he's telling me. So... I want to keep an eye on it this time. And see if he's right. See, it's not going down, Chris. So I just don't I just don't know if he, Chris knows what he's talking about. I'll throw closer to the line to the shoreline. There we go. See what I'm gonna do is just throw it out there, set it in there, grab my jig pole. And uh, fish the shell bank with my jig pole. You guys do me a favor and watch my bobber. Yell out if you see it go under. If you wouldn't mind. I mean, you're going to have to yell pretty loud. Because I don't know how this GoPro thing works, but I don't, I don't think you guys can talk into it. Yeah. I'd like to catch a fish on this jig today. <laughs> I just did! Ah. Okay. See how that works? I just said I'd like to catch a fish on this jig. And by golly, I got a nice trout. All right. Seriously, you can't be a better fisherman than I am today. Because I just, I mean, that's crazy. Look at that fish. I hope this is a redfish. It's not acting like a shark. Could be a gold, could be a redfish. A goldfish. Might be a goldfish too. Oh, it might just be a big old. Yep, that's a redfish. It's a redfish. Chris, when I need him. But, oh. My trolling motor just went up. Everything's going haywire. <sighs> Hope this fish don't get off. Go down. There's a stinky blue fish is what this is. Putting him back. You hit like a ton of bricks. But they stink like. Oh no. Oh, it's a baby trout. Look at that. I thought it was another blue fish. Baby, baby, baby trout. Good your burnt limp out there. I think the, uh, the news media found out I was fishing out here and they took the blimp out. I, mean, I wish it were earlier when I was catching a lot of fish. I mean, right now it's kind of dead. But uh, I'll wave at them. I don't know if you saw them, but they wave back. They, I mean, they're pretty friendly. Good year, blimp people. They're nice people. I don't know where he's going. He's just running down the coast is all he's doing. Advertising goodwill. I'm not going to let him advertise on my channel. 
I just got in this area, threw my pole in right away. I, mean, I wasn't even ready, and I got a fish. I just don't know what it is. Oh, it's a, it's a trout, and a pretty nice one. Let's just say it. Maybe. There he is. Oh. Quick release. Told you, told you it was a trout. I wasn't joking. No well. Okay, found the secret here. You like it on the bottom now. Oh, it's a flounder. No wonder it like it on the bottom. At least a little baby flounder. Come here. We'll let you go. Don't bite me. Seriously. All right, I'm just gonna try it this way then. Ow! It did bit. Oh, you son of a gun! Ooh, got something nice. He's big. Oh my gosh. He's a big trout. <clears throat> Not the biggest I've ever caught, but he's big. Okay. Not really that big. But boy, he looks big in the water. I mean, it's big. Ouch. Don't get me wrong. It's a big trout. Whew. Put my trout in with the with a shrimp each and the shrimp all of a sudden just all came alive it's like they wanted to uh swim around again so i'm thinking from now on i put my fish in with the shrimp keeps the shrimp on their toes okay something got oh something got the back pole back pole bat pole the one i had just sitting back there it looks like a nice trout. It sure was, but he got off! Ah! What you see here is a hook that had a big trout. All right, it's been a great day. I got six, seven trout, one big red fish. I'm gonna go clean those right now. It's about noon, so I've been out here oh, about three hours or so. It's getting a little warm. I think I'm gonna head on in, clean these fish. And uh, I got a house to clean because my wife's supposed to be home tomorrow. So uh, I got work to do. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button, like. And there was a couple I met out there on uh, Beach Creek. I appreciate you guys watching me. Make sure you hit uh, some, some kind of a button or something. Tell me that you saw this one. But I appreciate you guys watching it all the time. And uh, hopefully someday we'll go out fishing together. All right. Paul out. Have a great day.